raise your hand if you're enjoying the snacks. That's, it's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> we have a few non-enjoyers of the snow. I wonder if there'll be snow in heaven. <laughs> we had that discussion a little. You know, we don't know. But, so, I just want to welcome you all this morning. Thank you for coming up to spend some time with Children's Story with me. So, I have a story about a girl named Jennifer. Do you guys know anybody named Je anyone named Jennifer? No? Do you know a girl named Jennifer? Got it. This could be her. So, I want to know one question. Have you ever had your mom or dad tell you something that you just didn't like? Eat all my vegetables. Oh, man. Do you remember the story about that girl who ate all the food and she was eating all the bad food? You were here last time. What's her name? What was her name? Betty? Yeah, it was Betty. I remember that girl. And then last week, were you here for the girl in the pink dress? Yeah, man. Betty who ate all the chicken and that's the one I eat that. Yeah. You remember Betty? Betty's bad side. Betty had a good side though. She started eating the veggies and stuff. Okay, so this story is Jennifer. So we had Jennifer, the little girl in the pink dress last week, who, and now today we have Jennifer. Well, Jennifer, let's start off here. I have a story, so I kind of wrote it down a little bit. She started at a new school, and she had lots of friends, and all of her friends would say things like, you know, my parents make me go to bed at night, and I'm not tired yet. Did you ever have that happen? Yeah, I stay up all night. Oh, what? <laughs> he stays up all night, he says. I'm sure your parents might beg to different from, differ from that. So, so they would complain. They would say, oh, our parents make us go to bed early. They make us do chores. They make us do homework. Take out the trash. Can anyone up here relate? Has that ever happened to you? Um, only two of those things. Only two of those things. Got it. Well, so yeah. So, but Jennifer, she was new to the school. She's making lots of friends. And the kids one day said to themselves, she never complains about anything. She must have perfect parents. And guess what they all wanted to do? They wanted to go live with her. They went up to her and they said, you know, Jennifer, we talk about how our parents make us do all these different things, but you know what? You never complain. You must have perfect parents. I want to go live with you. And she laughed and Jennifer laughed and she chuckled and she said, you know what? That is not the case. She said, you know what? Actually, I think my parents might make me do more things than you guys are complaining about. And they were like, oh. How come you never complain? And she said, well, and, oh, I forgot to tell you guys how old Jennifer was. She was only 12. How old are you? Six. <laughs> eight. Six, eight, and one and a half. <laughs> so, they're like, she's only 12, and she's like, so this is, that's the, this is the interesting part. She's only 12. And so when they realize that she never said anything bad, they're like, okay, well, so what do you do then when your parents tell you all this stuff to do? And she's like, well, I usually just do this. And she goes in her pocket, and she pulls out a note card, and she says, Children, obey your parents, for this is right in the Lord. And they're like, they start, make, make a strange face. Let me see your strange face. Something that shocks you. Right? That's what they're all like, huh? And she's like, yeah. I just pull out a Bible verse and pray about it and ask God not to make me feel so bad. Could you imagine doing that when you get frustrated? She was only 12. Could you imagine saying, okay, Lord, I don't want to eat my vegetables. 
but I know they're healthy and I know my parents love me, so please help me to like my vegetables. And then you eat them? Huh? Or give me a special way to eat my vegetables so I enjoy them. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine when one of those two things that you related with, you're like, well, I know this bothers me, but I'm going to just pray to God and say, hmm, I know there's a reason I'm supposed to do this, so I'm going to ask God's help doing it. Could you imagine that? Can you guys imagine that? And she was pretty young. So all these kids are like, what? So some of the kids walked away. But some of them stayed, and they just wanted to know more. And she said, I know you guys think I'm crazy because I'm so young. But guess what? The person who taught me how to do it, she was 11. 11 years old. She said, I know it's usually old people that tell you about reading the Bible and praying, but I know young people that do this. Can you, can you imagine? going to school and having friends that read and pray and talk to God when they have problems? Can you imagine that? Hmm? Have you ever seen that at your school? No. Do you think you could do that? You think you could? You ever hear kids complain at your school? Yeah? Yeah. Lots <laughs> of Yeah. So, do you think you could tell them, hey guys, did you ever think about praying about it? Do you think you could do that? I, high five. High five. That, it's, and even for us older people at work, high five. <laughs> older people at work, people have problems and stuff. How do we counsel them? What do we tell them? Right? Do we tell them to pray? Do we tell them, talk about it with God? Do we tell them that? So she said, I pray, I read a Bible verse, and it always makes me feel better. And the girl that showed me her name was Marissa. And some kids walked away like I said they weren't interested, but she started telling them, name a problem that you have. And they started naming their problems, and she said, God says, all things work together for good to them that love him. Do you love God? Raise your hand if you love God. And what did that verse say? How many things work together? All things. 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 Does that make sense? Because how many things work together in a good way? All things. For who? Those who love God. Yes! So, really, is there ever something that should get you so upset that you forget about God? No. No, there's nothing in this world that should ever get you so upset. Because how many things work together for good? All things. All things. All things. All things. So, I have a challenge for you guys today. You already took on the first challenge. Tell me your name again. Enrique. Enrique? So, Enrique, when his friends have problems at school, he's going to tell them to do what? Pray. Pray about it. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And what's your name, Emma? Nicholas. Nicholas. Do you think you could do that same challenge? Awesome, awesome. Baby James? Awesome, awesome. So, with that being said, I also, you gotta equip yourself, right? You have to have a tool. So, I brought a blank note card for all the children. I'm about to tell you. So, you're gonna take that note card, and one thing you're gonna do, and you're gonna bring it back. So, you're going to put a special verse on there. It could be, all things work together for good to them that love God. It could be, the sufferings of this time won't match up to the glory that God will reveal in your life. 
It could be so many verses that you could ask your mom and dad to help you with. And so that way, whenever you have a problem, you can keep it in your pocket, you can keep it in your book bag, you can keep it in your notebook, anywhere. And then that way, you can look at it, you can look at it, and we have, actually, we have enough for everybody. And you can look at it whenever you have a problem, and it can help you, and you can pray over that verse. We'll leave those there. You can pray over that verse, and then you can ask God to help you with whatever your situation is. Does that sound like a good plan? So and are you, if you guys are here next week and you bring it back, you'll get a prize. And then you tell me how you used it. Okay? Does that sound like a good plan? All right. Well, thank you so much. So today, our valuable lesson is to learn that whenever something bad happens, we can pray about it and use a verse from the Bible to make, to use a verse from the Bible so that way we can feel much better. All right, let us, do I have a volunteer to pray? Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Please help us all to be good. Please help us all to stop complaining. And if we know somebody that does complain, please help us to doubt them to try to pray about it. And please help us all today. Please bless us all so we won't go, so that we can all go to heaven. In God's name, I pray, amen. Amen. amen.